Hi everyone, it's me. I'm here to read chapter 9 with you today of Sisterhood is the Strongest Magic, All Hail the Queen. Thank you so much for joining me so far with the, this book, and I'm very excited to see all of you. Well, I guess I don't really get to see all of you, but I can imagine that lots of you are very excited with me as well. All right, so chapter nine. The next day, my sister and I and the villagers rose early. We set out at dawn with the palace builders, plumbers, and architects. All over town, the work began, because we were going to build the pipe today. The people of Arendelle dug canals and trenches for the new plumbing system. Kristoff and the ice harvesters were first to break ground. Shoveling wasn't so different from ice carving. They worked together in a well-organized team, singing the songs of the frozen lake. Even Olaf was given a special task. He helped Chef Florian serve refreshments to the hard-working villagers. Florian was also famous for his frosty lemonade. Fresh-squeezed lemonade, Olaf cried, carrying a small tray of glasses. Is it cold? asked the villager, wiping the sweat from his brow. Of course it's cold, Olaf replied, thanks to my cousins. Do you remember? Those are the little ice cubes. <laughs> By early evening, the canals were finished and most of the pipes had been laid. At Dagmar's laundry, Anna and I worked side by side. We were up to our elbows in dirt, putting the finishing touches on a brand new water pump. Anna giggled and looked at me and we broke into a fit of giggles. But then I said, what's so funny? And she said, you don't look so queenly now. The hem of my dress was stained with mud and there was dirt smeared across my cheek. And my brow was drenched with sweat. I absolutely look queenly, I said. I lifted my chin defiantly. This is what a queen looks like when she's working. Anna straightened up and stretched. They'd spent most of the day hunched over, digging trenches. I paused and blew a sweaty lock of hair from my eyes. You are right. I love using my magic to help people, but some days helping them this way is even better. And here's a picture of me, Anna and Olaf. Way to win their hearts, Anna said smiling. I slid the pump handle into place and I called to Dagmar. The seamstress put down her shovel and hurried over to the queen. Why don't you give it a try, I said to Dagmar. Yeah, Anna said, let's see if this thing we built actually works. Dagmar gripped the handle and lifted it up, then pushed it down. A strange gurgling noise rumbled through the pipes. Dagmar took that as a sign of encouragement and pumped faster. Suddenly, water spilled from the spout. It was cold and clear and fresh. Dagmar was thrilled. She turned to me with tear tears of joy in her eyes. I don't know how to thank you, she cried. I do, Anna said. Three cheers for Queen Elsa. A cheer went up among the villagers. They gathered around and lifted me onto their shoulders. All hail the queen, the people of Arendelle shouted. You know, reading that is kind of funny for me because I know that the real reason that they're saying all hail the queen is because I have Anna by my side and I couldn't have done it without her. And that's why sisterhood is the strongest magic because without my sister Anna, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm doing today in, in leading the kingdom of Arendelle. Well, everyone, that is chapter nine, and we have one more chapter left, and so that'll be next week. Thank you all for joining me. I'm so excited that we're almost done this book. It's been very lovely so far. I hope you guys comment below what your favorite part has been, what, whether it was one of the tasks that we did on Anna's to-do list, or me realizing that I didn't have to use my powers, or maybe it was when I used my powers. Well, let me know, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye, everyone. Thank you.